Hello everyone. Previous lecture we have studied the concept related with the chapter uh, circle. In that we see different forms of the equation of circle. We define different form and we see various type of example related with this part. Now in today's lecture we go with our new chapter and is your conic section. Here again we have to consider some different curves. Okay, curves like here uh, for parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. That is, we have to define conic sections. Okay, we have to consider cone and using cone, we have to consider different sections. Okay, and these are the sections are made by the plan. Okay, uh, firstly, we go with our first part in this chapter and in that we define the double cone here to define the double cone we consider one line l okay and we consider another line m here these two lines are fixed l and m are fixed okay here if we rotate this m about l we rotate this line m about line l then here we get the angle theta and this angle theta is always constant. If we rotate this M around the line L, we get this type of cone and this is the surface of a right circular cone. And this cone having two naps, upper nap and this is the lower nap. Okay, here this V is the fixed point and this V is called vertex. This is the vertex. Then this line L is called the axis. And here M is the generator of the cone. Okay, so here I write V is vertex. Then L is axis axis of the cone and M is the generator of the cone is the generator of cone. So we get this type of cone and having two naps. Okay. So this is right circular cone. So using this part, we have to consider the conic sections. That is, we have to consider section of this cone by a plan. So to define the conic section, we consider this cone, we consider one plan. Suppose this plan is uh, perpendicular. Here, this is our plan. If this plan is perpendicular to the axis and does not contain the vertex, I repeat again, if our plane is a perpendicular to the axis, perpendicular to the axis and does not contain this vertex, then the uh, section is circle. Here, the intersection is a circle. So here, in between uh, this cone and this plane, here we get circle. Then in next, if we consider the cone, which is a parallel to the generator. Here we know this is our generator. This cone is having two generator. First is uh, this one and second is like this. Okay. Here we consider one generator, any one of the generator. Suppose this is our generator and for this generator, this plane is a parallel. And this plane does not contain the vertex. Then this type of section is for parabola. This type of section is for parabola. So your section is like this. We get this curve and this curve is for parabola. Then next here we consider a plane which is parallel to the axis. Remember, this plane is a parallel to the axis and this plane divides both the naps, upper nap and the lower nap. If we consider the section, here we get this part. 
this curve here we get this curve and this is for the hyperbola this is for the hyperbola so remember these three parts uh, here i repeat if uh, the plane is uh, perpendicular to the axis then we get circle here if our plane is a parallel to the generator then this is for the parabola and here we consider a plane which is a parallel to the axis which is parallel to the axis then this is for hyperbola then in next we consider here plane which is on the generator the plane is on generator like this this on generator here if the plane is on this generator we get here straight line here if plane is on this generator here we get again straight line so here we get pair of straight lines here we get pair of straight lines that is this intersection this section is for the pair of straight lines so up to this point we define circle parabola then hyperbola and we define pair of straight lines so we consider this type of conic sections and we uh, made by the these sections by using the plane now we have to define the conic sections that is conics here to define conic section we consider here one line okay let us we consider here fixed point p here we consider another point s here we consider another point x and this point is called here focus here the distance of this point p from the focus s to the here uh, uh, point p distance of point p from the given line if the ratio in between these two is a constant here i repeat the distance from the point p to the s to the uh, this line from the point p to the line if this ratio is a constant then we define here conic section here we get one important relation here sp upon pm we consider sp this distance then pm this distance and this distance is always constant this distance is always constant and we consider this is equal to e and here e is the eccentricity here e is the eccentricity eccentric C T. Okay. If we solve this type of relation, here we get S P is equal to E into P M, and this is the property, and this property is called focus directrix property. Here for focus directrix property, we consider S P is equal to E into P M. Here everything is depend on the value of E. to define the conic here if this e is equal to 1 here i write if e is equal to 1 then the conic section is a parabola then the conic section is parabola here if e is a greater than 1 here if e is greater than 1 then here we get ellipse and here if this e is less than 1 then this conic section is for hyperbola so everything is depend on this e that is on the value of e here i repeat again if e is equal to 1 then this section is a for parabola if e is greater than 1 then this section is for ellipse here if this e is less than 1 then this section is for the hyperbola okay so uh, we define the conic section we define the conic here so in today's lecture 
we define the conic section we consider various section okay of the cone by using plan firstly we define here circle then parabola next is hyperbola then pair of straight line okay in next lecture we go with our next important part and is for here parabola we have to define equation of the parabola okay so we study this in next lecture thank you